Hi, everybody on YouTube. Uh, we're doing a really cool project, which I've been procrastinating for quite a while because it's going to be a lot of work. But uh, I think it's worth doing because it's kind of like a little science experiment to see how these different snares all sound. So we have a supraphonic Ludwig, which is kind of the ubiquitous snare drum that I think just about everybody uses and knows what it sounds like. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to do uh, some playing with all of these different snares. It, also the Ludwig snares, which are 16 strands. And then uh, you got a bunch of pure sound. I have all these stocks, so if anyone likes one of these and wants to buy them, we have them. Um, but yeah, you got the custom pure sound uh, 16 strand. Then here you have the twisted um, pure sound, which is a very cool design. Here you have uh, Custom Pro 20 strand, which is a little bit of an upgrade. And then this is the Custom 20 strand. Snappy Snares Gibraltar. So this is probably the most inexpensive. And one of these, oh yeah, I forgot to say, Brass. This is the one I'm really interested in brass snares here, um, and, and all the other ones are going to be steel. Uh, but then, yeah, you got the inexpensive version, Equalizer 2. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> and then here you have, this one's just a lot of snares. <laughs> and then this, one's, this one's actually a little less, but yeah, it's, it's very fun. 30 here, and this, is, this looks like it's maybe like 34 or something. But yeah, so, so it'll be great fun. And yeah, we're going to have a cool shot under the snare. We don't usually do that. And also, I don't usually mic the snare drum. So for this, I'm going to uh, actually put an SM57 on there. And then while you're listening, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have it like cut to just that mic. So you can just hear that, which I think will give everyone a very kind of even, because everyone's heard what a snare drum and an SM57 sounds like. <laughs> so yeah, we don't usually do that. But for this video, we're going to do that. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it.
Hey, hey everybody, so that was a really fun video and we've got all these different types of snares and it was kind of cool. The results were a little bit surprising, but I think they were very, very great. If you liked the video, uh, like and subscribe on our, on our YouTube channel and we'll make more, make comments if you want us to do more of these. I, I love them, they're kind of like science experiments and I found that in the room, it's a little tougher to hear the difference. Some of them actually are uh, pretty di difficult to tell the difference, but then in the recording, you can really tell a little easier. I think it's just because of the amplitude. The amplitude is a little less, so it's hitting your ears a little less hard, and because of that, you can make, you know, kind of detect subtle differences. But yeah, I think my favorite, th there are some that I liked a lot more than I thought I'd like. Like the last one I did, the 42 strand, that's a lot, and I, I thought I would really not like that one, but I actually thought it sounded pretty good. <laughs> and then, the one with the most unique sound was maybe the one before that, uh, something that if you're really looking for like kind of a, almost like a delayed, it's the pure sound, I think 36 strand one, the pure sound one with more, kind of a delayed reaction. Probably I think the brightest one of all was the, the brass snares. Um, and I think that the pure sounds always have a different sound, partially maybe because of, I think the, it's either copper plated or it's just copper. It might be copper plated steel, but just the something you don't think about a lot is the construction of the 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 metal part of the actual snares, and every one is different. And I think that makes a huge difference. Even within the pure sounds, the ones that are the custom pro are built a little bit differently. And keep one thing, other thing in mind too. The first snare I didn't use cords. That was the, the original Ludwig one. That came with a plastic strap. It's the, how the drum comes, so I just wanted to leave it. I usually use cords. I think that if you use plastic straps, it muffles it a little bit more, which might actually be something you're looking for. You can also maybe make it a little more reliably, perfectly even, which is kind of cool. So yeah, lots of, lots of cool info here. If you want us to do another one, maybe, uh, you know, with like a lower tuning or something, <laughs> just let us know. Comment on the video. Thanks for watching.